Okay. <sighs> Alright, so... What is doing here? Alright, let's see what we're doing. Okay, so, uh, what we're doing today is going into... we're going to do today is play with some spiders, or we're going to play with a world that has no spiders, which I much prefer. Uh, this, this music is stressing me out. It's a little bit intense. Alright, uh, right. so we're going to take this box that contains all the spiders. And we're gonna drag it to the black hole. Okay. Shall we begin? I guess. Find your keys. I'm not gonna like this, am I? It's, it's just I really don't like spiders. I know every situation that this game's gonna throw at me is gonna be like, there should be spiders. And there's not gonna be spiders. It's very confusing. Well, let's go. Alright, find my keys. Alright, uh... Nope. What? I don't know. Oh, so it's gonna pop out a CD. Oh, so I can interact with the other stuff. Mmm, garbage. So much garbage. I still can't find Wait, what are these? No. Oh, yeah. Where are my keys? What game? Can't move the garbage? Where else could it be? It really isn't, is it? Okay. Pete, this is not a drill. <laughs> Just <laughs> close the box. Uh, all right. Uh, under the chair. On me. Uh, I can't open this one. Is that all you got? Uh, Yay! very fitly. Okay. All right. Well, they're definitely wearing spiders there. Put your boots on. Whoop! Wait, is this the right? What am I looking at? Okay. Okay, and there are no spiders. Okay. Get. Alright, what? I mean, what was that if it wasn't. I mean, I don't know, how, how long would it take for the world not to have any spiders before you stop, like, shaking your boots out? What? Okay. Oh no, there is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Find the fuse box. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is all controlled by the mouse. Uh, so I press... Hello, Al. Hoo-hoo. Okay. Uh, I guess that's now. Okay. So spiders have been... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I need to press... 
I need to press this. No, this one up here. Now this one up here, right? Okay, if it turns out that I have eight hands, I'm not going to be very happy. Okay, we got foot. Ends. Get supplies. <laughs> okay. This way. Well, I mean, banana. No, you don't want a banana. Oh, is it? I need the. Spray and tennis racket, is that what we're saying? Nope. Surely I must be able to. Okay, it's my hand. Alright. Okay, so there's so that. A letter from you? Yeah, yeah thanks. Being finicky. Ew. Oh, snake. Come on. Alright, into the nightclub. Cool, cool. Yes, come on. Okay. Alright. Defend your home. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the excuse me. From what? Oh, from Paper Boys? Why? Uh, or Mozzie. Well, I'm sure they won't come. Oh no, come on. Come on now. Alright, oh, yeah. Because obviously the flies are now taking over the world. Because there are no spiders. That makes total sense. But I should say, I don't dislike all spiders. I'm, um, oh no, oh no, um, I quite like day long legs, they're fine. No, no! And can I pick up the, no. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, I quite like the Elon Lakes. They're fine. I'm happy for any spider that poses absolutely no threat to me whatsoever. Which some people would argue is all spiders, or most spiders, but I disagree. You know? Um, I'm assuming that that is unwinnable. Um, given how many lies it started bringing up at the end. So, I think we're done with this one. Uh, but good. I mean, it kept its promise. There were no spiders. Um, and for that, I appreciate it. Oh! What's up with my puppy? Alright, so... Let's, um... Let's take a quick break, even though I don't have anything to say that I'm taking a break. But let's take a quick break and um, I'll deal with that and we'll pick another game. Alright, we'll be back.
Alrighty. Ooh. All right, so admittedly, I haven't. Um... Oh, you can skip level. Okay, that's good. Handy. All right. Um, admittedly, I haven't actually logged into YouTube, so maybe I should do that real quickly. Do. Oh, maybe I should not do that. Hang on. <laughs> okay, uh, so, we've got some options to, as to what game to, ooh, um, what to play next. Ooh, no, that's bad. All right, cool. All right, so what should we do? Um, we could do, let me have a look-see-loo. All right, yeah, let's do that. We'll do a game called Spirit Swap, uh, which is a match three. Let's see if that pops up. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is a keyboard game. Okay, cool. Um, it's a match three, which is, yeah, called Lo-Fi Beats to Match 3-2. So, at worst, it's going to be a pretty chill experience, and at best, it'll be a pretty chill experience. Let's just check the how to play. Oh, space. Not into. Um, yep. Okay, so it's just swapping things around, disappearing things, pretty standard. Okay, but every match fills your spell meter some. For this demo, you only have the spell square. To trigger your spell, arrange four identical spirits in a square shape and press the Alt key. Okay. Remember, your spell will only work if you have enough magic for it. Don't let the spirits reach the top of your game board or it's game over. Are you comfortable there? Okay. All right. I'm already feeling pretty chill. I mean, this is a lot more chill than the last game, so for that, I am happy. Oh, there's different modes. I can be chill or unchill. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's sell the worst one first. I figure we, we can move our way back down. Hey, Samar. Hey, Ishk, what's up with you? You look kind of down. I've been hitting a plateau with my spirit swapping lately. You know how it is. You do the same routine over and over, and your muscles get bored. What a bummer. Can I do anything to help? Maybe you could show me your form. Get me inspired again. Nobody swaps spirits like you do. Yeah, sure. I can show you a thing or two. All right. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Uh, Alright, so I want to make squares. Okay, then... Oh, yeah, I did I did say I'm chill, right? Oh, see, all my... All my experience doing this stuff has gone out the window. This really is super unchill. Oh, so I can press... Yeah, alright. Let's try that again. I forgot where the... Oh, button was. <laughs> oh, I don't need this text again. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I just, let's. I just want to do over. <laughs> Come on. I don't think that's really enough time to. This is just a demo. I should point out. Um, but I don't really think that was enough time to get a really good feel for the game, huh? Alright. Oh no. Okay. Swap, swap, and then what does this do? I'm pressing alt. What does it do? I don't know what it does! Alright. Let, let's go back. 
let's go let's go chill first because I don't really understand what's going on with this magic spell stuff. Oh, I need magic before I can use this. Okay, right. So I need which one's some which one's magic. Uh, I need to get rid of this column. All right, but do I have enough? Okay. Uh. No. Um. Oh no, this come yeah, alright. Yeah, that's too much. Alright. Here's the any button. Um oh main menu. Alright, let's <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was too much. Um I guess we can try chill mode and see how chill that is. And then we'll we'll try on chill. Okay. Oh no, I've done that. Mm, might be a little too chill. Okay, so that's increasing the magico meter. Okay, and then I press Oh. And it just disappears. Oh, is that what no what? Okay. I mean, the music is definitely nice, and the game is certainly functional, even if I keep forgetting <laughs> quite the rules. Um, you know, it's interesting. Oh, I should have let it fall first. Um, I think I'm very much just in the the zone here and it kind of probably isn't that interesting for you, but maybe I'd shut up and let you listen to the music.
Is this church ship? I don't know. I don't know if the level's gonna like increase at all. I feel like I could do better. You know, this is fine, whatever. curious about this magic oh there's a moon <laughs> um <sighs> see like the hmm? oh yeah over here I've got like this thing and it's like there but why is it not coming right around I don't know Try the okay, let's put out of here. Let's try doing it with the not quite so chill. So unchill. I don't know if this is worse than OG's. Well, there is speed level. Oh, okay. So there's no speed level on the other one. level two so the speed is increasing in this one means I actually have to think some oh no I need to get rid of this side oh yeah that's nice okay.
Let me make a quiz. Ah. Uh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, you don't. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, that's not what I wanted. Why did I do that? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, does it get rid of a whole bunch of stuff? Maybe that's what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, cool. Maybe that's mouse drops. Hey, my dog is whining at me. What's the matter, Pepper? Building up. Working out nicely. Uh huh. Okay, so if they match the same colors with the squares, then they'll both disappear using the same um, thingamabob spell, I guess you'd call it. So that's nice. Um. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, oh, oh, if I move this one. No, okay. <laughs> but it takes out some of the top stuff as well. Can't tell. Um, doo -doo. Let's see. Well, does it wipe out? I don't know what wipes out. Hey, I'm seeing a frog. I think. That's fine. I'm fine with that. That's not bad score, right? That was rare as hell. Anyway, Lulu made me two pounds of nefe. Want a carb load? Oh, hell yeah. I'm not going to work out with you, though. Fair play. Valid, valid. What makes you feel... Whatever makes you feel good. You want to help me thank everyone for playing again? Sure. Hey, thanks for playing our game. You must be very cool. A very cool and sexy person. Really in a bit, sweetie. Gotcha. Thanks for playing our game. You must be a person. Nailed it. Alright. Well. Let's, uh. That was some fun. Um. I'm not sure that I quite got a handle on. Uh, how the um, how the magic spells worked. Ah, uh, seeing screens where you have to lock it in. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the other magic spells are. But uh, yeah. Uh, hang on, actually. Let's try it again. Let's check it again. For this demo, you have only one spell, the square. Let's trigger it. So that 
that coming up on the right hand side must be just particular the square. Trigger your spell range for identical spirits into a square. Press the L key. You have to have magic. It doesn't actually say what the magic spell does though. It's like yeah, it gets rid of those squares. And it did something else for some reason. But was it just randomly taking away things? I don't know. Alright. But let us try a different game. Uh, so we've had some intenseness. Uh, and we've had some chill. Let's, let's go for some chill intense, maybe. So, try playing a game called Night in the Storm. Oh, actually, I forgot to change my thing. Um, yep. Mm, let's just... Uh. Give me a tick while I do this. No. Uh. So this is uh, Night in the Storm, where I, like, as much as I'm, I'm aware, we're just... <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't have control plugged in, so we're going to go with EQ and Wasad. Well, my dog tries to eat stuff on my keyboard. Okay. Uh, so, E. Yeah, that's my pencil. All right. So, ooh, we're a little birdie. Okay. There's a light there. Do we need the? And yeah, what were the other buttons? You. Woo. Okay. So there's a generator down here. Oh, and the water is. Oh, we can fix it, even though it's like... Am I fixing it? And what were the buttons again? Okay, it's not going to tell me. Oosh. That was good noise, I guess. Okay, I mean, it looks really nice. But I need this light globe, right? Why else would I have a light globe? Oh, I... Okay. Oh, so those were boats. Alright. So I gotta do it quickly. Uh, and no button is doing anything. Oop! Here we go. Q is to look. E is to do the thing. Um, I was doing E near the light, and it didn't do anything. Hang on. Give me a tick. Let's look at this. <sighs> okay, so I go to, going to the instructions, I have to close the window. Generator produces energy for the whole building, and if it fails, the other machines will stop working. The engine rotates the lamp so ships can see it. The lamp spreads the light from the light bulb. The ships replace a fused 
or the new one when it breaks. Maybe it hasn't broken. Okay, so. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is close this window. Okay, then this machine's working. Okay. Then I come up here and I fix this one. Okay, so that's working. And then the light, it doesn't appear to be working. Alright, so I need a light bulb. Okay, I got a light bulb. Woohoo! I don't know what happened last time. I couldn't pick up the light bulb last time. So, and then... Oh, and now this is broken? Okay. I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another, huh? It's still sparking. Why is it sparking? Does it not... Is the window blown open again? The window's blown open again. Okay, so now that's working. The... What? No, you're fine. I think. Or are you... Hang on. Okay, great. Oh, I got the Q key so I can... Yes, yeah, so now that one's broken. Yay, and we have light. But the window is open again. Whoa, what happened there? Go, go downstairs. Now I need to fix the thing up here. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Easy peasy. What's going to go wrong next? This one. Alright. And now the light bulb's working. So we get a light bulb. We get a light bulb. But I think that's a bit too finicky. I'm going to put it out there. And now that's broken. Is that because the... Oh, I don't... I don't know if that's because it's not getting power? No, it's just... Huh? Well, I mean, the light's still on. Oh, it's not turning, right. Um... This is definitely a game... I don't know if it's an enjoyable game, though. Like, does it have an end point? Will I, will I win? Or do I just... constantly do this? Until I don't. Yeah, that's, that's super annoying. Come on, get, pick it up. I wonder if I can just start throwing them. Yep. No. Pick it up. And then repair this thing. Don't. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a win state here. Look, these birds still come. Oh, because it's not turning. All right. Okay, there's a small sound effect of that window opening. No, you... Really? That's what you're going to do, game?
pick up the light. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Uh, I'm gonna say that I beat this game. That felt like an... Oh, because it didn't say game over. So I... I'm gonna assume that that's... That's what happened. Alright. Uh, there's no way to quit the game. Okay. Just can't quit you, game. Uh, yeah, so that was some fun, wasn't it? Um, it's my lunch break. I probably shouldn't be doing work. Alright, so... I need a really quick game to end this off. Um... I don't know what that's going to be. Oh, let's play this one. This one's called Family. It's a... Uh, how did... I don't know. It's um a game whereby... Hurry up and load. Uh, okay, yes. Where it's... Hmm. It's weird. It wants to reinstall for some reason. Um... Where you're exploring the music scene, a music scene that never existed, um, in the 80s, in London, uh, and you're basically trying to rebuild, I don't know why it's taking so long to install, um, you're trying to rebuild the, to try and work out who's in which band. So you've got a list of names, uh, and a list of roles in each band, um, so like a drummer or all the vocals, uh, and you're trying to work out who was who in this music scene that never existed, um, and as such it's got some pretty nice music. We'll go into a game because I barely started it, so... Sussex in the afternoon, I'm Dave Allen, and today we're looking back at the London pop scene, 1985 to 1995, and we're very lucky to have in the studio the one, the only, Ella Neal. Of course, she's something of a household name today, but at the start of her career, she was on the London pop scene with her group, making a go of it as synth pop and indie stormed the airwaves. We'll be spending the show today going through tracks from the scene and exploring Ella's memories of it, but first, Ella, how are you doing today? Afternoon, Dave. Um, very well. Thanks for having me. So, Ella, so much to talk about, but you were part of a, a scene of musicians in the late 80s that sought to put London on the map. What do you remember about that time? It was a family, Dave. Talented, ambitious musicians trying to make something new. It was a wonderful time, but also bittersweet because most bands couldn't make it last. And that's really sad, because it seems now no one remembers them at all.
Radio Sussex, and today looking back at the London pop scene, 1985 to 1995. Very lucky to have Ella Neal in the studio with us today, so let's have a listen to her band, Easy Target. Turn that out. This is where he kissed her, near the mill. But nothing's known and nothing's new Oh, he wants another chance or lead Gonna chase them up then Gonna breathe Let's go back to yesterday Everywhere you're mine Have I been on mute this entire time? I probably have. Oh dear. Oh well. <sighs> We're good. <laughs> Alright. So. Blah blah blah. Alright. So we know that Gail is in the Rialtos, Lucy is called Flake, uh, Elvin was in Ra Ra, and Tony was. Uh, how long have I been on mute for then? Mm, anyway, so Tony is the guitar player. Okay, so we can just drop that in, right? Is there more than one Tony? Mm, no, good. Tony Stack. Oh, but there's only, like, two other members, so that's good. There had been word of getting Jess in on bass, but this hadn't panned out. Jess would go, so go on to play in different bands. So we know Jess is not in this band. Ultimately, Rara was great, but it was too much too soon for them. In particular, I remember Elvin completely losing it after his wife took away his supply of Valium just before they gig at Shepherd's Bush Empire. Some of the boys went on to form Easy Tiger, who managed to, who I managed on the road until things got a little too crazy. The band wanted to emerge from an enormous chrysalis with their singer rigged to resemble a 30-foot butterfly. 
However, there was an accident with the ring, and one of our roadies nearly lost an eye. After that, they were pretty much done with the road, and so was I. So we know that... Okay. Okay, so... You know that... So I don't know if we can assume that because Elvin is mentioned that as being in the band, but the vocalist is not named that we can assume that Elvin is this person? And that someone else is this. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, interview. So, interview with Alex Adam. Okay. Is Alex Adam one of the people in our list? Yes. Okay. Um... Interview. So, Alex, you've been in Tiger Studios for the last three months. How's the album going? So, we know this is June 1985. So, it's somewhere on this top line. Presumably. Uh, it's not so great. <sighs> the album's not going great. How's that? Creative differences, really. There's been a big falling out over parts... Johnny's gone off in a huff because I said his guitar playing was always... So Johnny is a guitar player, presumably. I assume that they're making a distinction between bass and guitar. So so Johnny's a guitar player either in the Rialtos or Langer, but there is no... So Langer doesn't have a guitar, so... Must be this one. So Johnny. This guy. Okay. Uh, and Alex is presumably also in this band then. Um, because I say his guitar playing was well out of time, which didn't go down well. I see. Do you think you guys can patch it up? Honestly, I'm not sure. I shouldn't be really saying this. But I'm not sure this is quite where my head is at right now. Do you think you'll make it down the road? I'm sure hope so. I need to get my fix of roads, like cafe food, you know what I mean? Interview. I'm not sure I entirely do. You've been talking about doing something new with your spin-off project, Castanilla. Okay, so we know that Alex is also in Castanilla. Which, given... June A5, this is September A6. I'm not, uh, is part of the name Russian? Absolutely. Have you been <laughs> reading Russian literature like Elvis Costello? Uh, no, I prefer Bulgarian personally. Okay. How about Sally? What's going on there? Well, we have to see. She's mostly making music with Elvin at the moment. Honestly, I'm happy for them. Sally's making music with Elvin. Well... Oh, well that's that's good information. Formed by Charismatic Intemptuous. Yeah. <laughs> Singer Alex Adam. Alright. Singer so Alex Adam is here. Vocals. Okay. So I think maybe if I take this one out and I put Sally in here, I'll put Elvin in here. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Twenty-five musicians remain. Musicians may change instruments group to group. Wonder why this one's missing. Anyway. Okay, so I think it's saying that Sally was not confirmed. So what if he meant that here and here? Okay, so let's. Let's move on to the watercolors. So this was a combination of a jangle of cuts and work and, and your own soundscape. What was it like working on this? David was gorgeous. Um, so we know Ella was in wonderful people that I met. I always felt completely safe to, to work with them, to be myself with them. It was really, it was just the most pleasurable experience to, to make music with them. And uh, not only were you remembered here, but you also became exceptionally popular on the continent, particularly uh, Holland and Belgium. Uh, would you like to comment on that? We used to joke that we never played above sea level. Um, yeah, Belgium, Holland, Belgium again. You know, I used to love the chips from Belgium, but turns out they're actually cooked in Greece. <laughs> well, moving along, let's listen to the watercolours. This is... Okay, so... We know that she was in watercolours. And they played in Belgium a lot, so I'm going to punt and say that Alex was also in Watercolors. Because he, he has, he's a Belgian file. I'll put a question mark on that one. Alright, so. What was I doing? So, I think Elvin is, I think the band that he was talking about, Elvin and Sally Beam, was probably this one. So, I think what this means is that this is Sally. And then if we go to Clarice Montag, let's do that. Both musicians had unhappy exits from their previous groups, which they reflected in often bitter, barb-filled songs of love and regrets. So, if it's a female vocalist, that... I mean, it sounds male, right? Oh, so this is... Yeah, right. So I need to find who this actually was. Okay. Uh, one of the band is vegan. So this is for... All or Muffin. Clanger. Oh, Clanger. Alright. Clanger is up here. One of the band is vegan. Okay. Uh. And all items can be procured at any local shell petrol station. Nothing fancy. Mm. Ham and cheese for Orson. And so presumably not. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, awesome. Well, okay, so awesome way is in Clanger. Um. Okay, let's pull back. Easy Tiger. Tony is an Easy Tiger. Okay. Uh, and 
and he's leaving his drums on stage, so he must be a drummer. Um, if he's taken ill, Aaron Carr will replace him. We know that Aaron is not a part of Easy Tiger, I presume. Ron and Jess will be absent from first two shows. The band will be doing a shortened set. So, Ron and Jess are in. So we know Ron and Jess are in this. Aaron Carr. Does that mean that she's in this band or no? Yeah, I'm gonna. We'll just put this as a. Uh, I'll see that. No. No, I was thinking maybe Tony. We'll put Tony in here. No, Tony can't be in there. Okay, so that's no good. Uh, one, two, three, four. I've only filled in four things, so even if all those were right. Hmm. Alright, let's try. Roy is ex. Okay, so. Clarice Montag. Press quotes. Roy is excellent, although he will struggle to reach the current standards of his former bandmate, Bob Clay. Okay. So we know that this is Bob Clay. Okay. Very lucky to have Ellen Neal in the studio with us today. So let's have a listen to her band, Easy Tiger. Turn it up. This is where he gets to open up his magazine. Okay, so we. Oh, okay. So we've we've got this band sorted, basically. So. We know in Easy Tiger, the missing people are Ron, Jess, and Bob. There's a little line down here. We just don't know what roles they're playing. Did I not? Oh, hang on. Awesome, awesome Way is in Clanger, but we don't know what role he's taking. Okay. Letter to Mike Joyce, the Smiths. Thanks again for the loan of the symbols, Saturday. The Mike. So who's this from? Gale. So Gale is... Oh, the drummer in... Yeah, yeah, so I, <laughs> I forgot that Gail was in the Realtors. Alright. Where are we? So... Gail. Okay. Um, so this is 1987. Uh, so he was loading the band, so he must have left them. Don't forget you. Didn't forget his keyboard though, did he? So, Sly... Uh, and I know that Gale is in this band. So I think it would be... She's talking about the drone. Doesn't necessarily mean that she's playing the drums so though, does it? We'll try it. Okay, so we know... Sly... Okay. Sigh, sigh, sigh. There we go. Honestly, I'm nearly done with the spam. Flake is exhausted too. Um. 
So Flake was Lucy. So she's in Castor Nier. We might have to get Colin to replace her on guitar. Okay, so we know that Lucy is on guitar. And we know Alex is in this band. So does that sound the same as... I think that's the same singer. I think. Okay, there we go. Uh, and so we also need, I need to put Lucy in that one as well. So I know that awesome, this must be awesome because he's not in this band. Um, there we go. And so then one of these people must have come from here. Oh, let's... Oh, I didn't even get through. Sorry, things we been since. Like it's exhausted. Colin might need to replace. Okay. Uh, sorry, things are a bit tense with Stephen at the moment. I hear he's made you go vegetarian. So, is this going to be Stephen? There is no Stephen. Okay. I'm not sure I could take in that many eggs. I can feel like a cool hand look. Love the new record and hope Johnny's trip to LA goes well. See you at Hands Across Britain. Cool. Seen, uh, Richard just seen Ella, she wants to do something new. This is 86. I'd like to bring Bob on board a different instrument for him and using his songs. We need a synth player, Ron or Aim, maybe Lucy's obviously playing guitar now. R 86, so. Okay, so I know Ron Jess. Ron or L. It's synth player. Ron or L. And I know Ron is in this band. I assume this is the band that they're talking about. So we'll go Ron. This is obviously playing guitar now. Is she there? Hmm. I'm playing a different instrument. So Bob was playing drums. So this doesn't help me. Okay. Now oh, Bob. This is obviously playing guitar now. In 87. 86. Where she's playing bass. Yeah, I don't get that. My mother. Uh, so this is awesome way. Uh, 
Uh, like never stay in Alex, you seem like a peacock in need of plucking. When I form my new band, the one that won't be, you know all about it. This is awesome way. Where is he now? Okay, awesome way. So down here. I wanted to work with Al because he was the only person who really wanted to push things in terms of politics. And uh, and this one said that Al was synth player, so we will punt on that. There's Alex and Adam. <laughs> uh, and we're awesome here. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, so something's wrong somewhere. Well, so we... Oh, okay, so we know Alex and Gail cannot be up here. So that's either going to be Lucy... Oh, hang on, I got Lucy here twice. That's probably where I've gone wrong. Yeah. I wish you could un someone. Okay, so I think I think these are right. Um, is there anything else? All the rest was noise. Okay. Um. So Tom, you and Gail. So Tom Cats. I've been playing it since say five. A6 actually, Gail was playing with Sally before then. Gail was playing with Sally before then. So I guess it's Sally? You were the rhythm section for two of the London scene's most prominent bands. Oh, hang on, so S Sally and Gail are here, right, yeah. So presumably this is Tom, is that the name that I'm looking for? Tom Katz. Oh, it's spelled differently. Okay, ten musicians remain. Oh, it's done. So I still have like this easy tiger is giving me very fright. Now I'm on game. So I know Bob and Jess are in these two positions. Okay, I don't have any bad ones. I know Ella is somewhere here with Alex, maybe. Oh, um, I don't even want to think of Alex's work now. Alright, so Alex is in this band. Oh, and Tom and Gail are in this band as well. So, Tom, Gail, Ella, and maybe Alex. No, not Alex. But not Alex, cool. Uh, I love it. I think he's genius, shoegaze, or whatever you call it. It's not the future of music. Oh, let's listen to some shoegaze, shall we? Donna Pavlova. <laughs> what other bases do you, like, look to? Alex is very lucky to have Jess, so... So we're thinking Jess is here? It's a 
there's gonna be vo there must be vocals on this. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't say vocals. Alright, um, we know Alex is in this band. I still don't know who this is. Uh, Wrecking Becker. Classic. Makes quite a racket. It's a lot of fun. I don't know about this now, is that... Uh, it's been a strange journey... ...with the watercolors since the turbulent split of Castaneda and the desertion of their frontman Alex Adam. Now the surviving members find themselves... Not only in the throes of a love affair with the mainstream, but also paired with arguably the most talented singer on the scene. So, presumably... That means that Ella is... Doing that. Um... And stare at your shoes and... Or is always still McKinney from... Okay. Newcomer Colin. Superb. Additions to the Susan Group of Musicians. Yeah, so Neil's singer. So Colin is in. Do have anyone else in this? Okay, so I know who's in it. That's so Ella, Tom, Gail, and Colin. I just don't know what roles they take. Okay. Uh, three. I have noticed that many people believe that no significant trios merged between Rush in 78 and Nirvana. Simply convenience for American like me to pretend that the UK was spending its time composing more than Diddy's about cemeteries and pints of Guinness and such. Let me tell you some of those bands rocked. When I went to see Donna Pavlova, mm hmm. At the Kentish Town Forum, the noise coming off the stage was completely overwhelming. The incredible drum and bass combo easily on par with their mates across town. M's and Cats. Drum and bass combo. So... M's and Cats, what? Gale M's and Tomcats. So that means that Col because they're drum and bass, that Colin must be on guitar. Right. Fantastic. Of course, it was it all went terribly wrong, as all Alex's bands do. Well, they okay. I still don't know who this person is. Oh, and this is Bob because, yeah, there's no one else there. Okay. Now I've got five more to go. This is possibly a little too long. I already know what I put in. <laughs> And the amount of time that it takes before I can actually press the continue button is a little annoying. And also the fact that the continue button like really comes here and here and needs to be a little bit bigger. But I'm nitpicking now. See I like I like what I like about this game is it's like detective work, but it's not um I don't know, it's not murder I suppose. 
it's like research rather than detective work. Okay, still don't know who this is. Um, so we'll. I wrote my new song for the fatherless when I was on the road somewhere between those places and missing my daughter. It's been a journey full of laughter, sadness, tears, and sandwiches. Kind of rewrote that a bit. It's easy to see it clearly now, but at the time, the most exciting thing was not knowing what was around the corner. Some of the people weren't so great, but most were wonderful, and in the end, that's what mattered most. Oh, okay. This is like, thanks for playing. <laughs> I mean, my problem now is that I know who's in each one. This is a vegan. I don't know how that helps me. Do I know who's the last person in Donna Pavlova? Alright, let's have a look. So... Watercolours as... Tom... and... Gail. As drum and bass. Um, we could just assume that they're taking the same roles. you played with all the girls in Red Boss last, and you had a very special relationship with Bob Kane. Can you talk to us about that? Oh, love Bob. So yes, I'd known Bob since uh, Ra Ra, as we've called them, uh, moved down from Glasgow. Really, really talented writer. Um, but he didn't get to play his songs in the band. So when they broke up, uh, we met with Gary, uh, the manager, and we decided that, yeah, we both wanted to play something very modern, very different. And to be honest, it was, it was a match made in heaven. Moving on now, let's have a listen to one of the electro bands of the era. This is Playa with Angelina. Hmm. And the real was Lucy who we make no. We've almost got this. Uh, and there's that thing about someone being so. Right, so one of the members is vegan. Sap, and is he anyway? Okay, so this Gail and Alex, Gail and Alex, so it's Tom, Sai, or Lucy that's here. Tom, Sai, and Lucy are the ones that I'm looking for. Okay, and
Oh, that would have told me who the guitar player is. Okay, good. Um... to replace her on guitar for a few shows which keeps coming up so Colin isn't anywhere yeah I'm gonna put Colin down here I don't think I'm gonna get to finish this don't know who else is in this band I don't know who that is. Some call by Alex Allen, considered by some a great songwriter, others a very divisive figure. Uh, Ella, what, what's yours? Well, um, Alex is a brilliant songwriter. Um, Steve, Mike, I think is there a Mike? He's known for bringing bands together. Um, no, because it's not one of them. That the people who know him oh. would also oh, hang on. recognize that he's pretty good at driving Gail. the cart. Um, no, that doesn't help me. And to be honest, uh, I talk about Alex a lot in my interviews. Um, I think that people, Sally, Tom, Gail, uh, fantastic musicians, some of the best people well, I've worked with. Alex and is going to be here or here. Viewers, though, I mean, I guess I could just punt this. A personality. Of course, Ella. There were a lot of breakups in the musical and the scene, and one of these bands did come off uh, the breakup of uh, Dwarah Buffalo. And the realities themselves from Fury, uh, the Clarice Montauk, named after a Fahrenheit 451, and this is their song, Duets with Friends. Uh, I don't know. Did I just pump this, or did I have a raisin? Okay, well, let's put Capole in here. Lovely stuff. Clarice Montag, you're listening to 91.5 FM. I'm Dave Allen in the afternoon, driving you all the way home. So, let's move Alex. on to the Jangler Supreme of the London scene. This is Castanet with Love Songs. Here. And then we'll switch these around. I'm... <laughs> um, no, but then if if not that, then Colin doesn't make any sense. Like, Colin only makes sense there because he's constantly mentioned as playing guitar and he's nowhere. Oi! So what, I'll flip these. This presumes that. Uh, Dale. Wait, what? Gail. <sighs> this could only be. It can't be Gail or Adam. I don't know, I'm stuck now. New Colin. Oh, Colin Saps over here. He can't possibly be there. <laughs> so, this was a combination of the, the jangle of Castanet and, and your own soundscape work. How, what was it like working in this band? Dave, it was gorgeous. Uh, they are the most wonderful people, and I always felt completely safe to, to work with them, to be myself with them. It was really, it was just the most pleasurable experience to, to make music with them. And uh, not only were you known over here, but you also became exceptionally popular on the continent, particularly uh, Holland and Belgium. W would you like to comment on that? <laughs> we used to joke that we never played above sea level. Okay. Um, so. <sighs> K. 
cannot figure out who this person is. And presumably who this person is and which order these go in. I'm stuck. The kind of musician, uh, yeah. Oh, I can get a big picture. That's good. Oh, yeah, maybe it says. Maybe reading these would help. No. Alright. I think I'm stuck, and I really need to get back to... I need to be done, so, um... Gosh, I don't know. I think I'm going to figure this out in my own time. Um, there is a sequel to this game, so maybe I'll check that out and maybe we'll stream that. But yeah, this is supposed to be the quick game and I just got a bit too obsessed. Um... Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed watching some of these. Oh, hey, Tom. I completely missed you. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, so I'll see. Maybe I'll play the expand, the sequel of this one. And uh, that'll be fun. Alright, well, I'll see you on Monday. And uh, I can't remember what I'm playing on Monday. It'll be something fun. Uh, oh, card games. Probably finish uh, the Solitaire Conspiracy. Um, or at least get further into it. If it doesn't frustrate me too much, we'll see. But uh, until then, have fun and have a good weekend.